Okay, good morning everyone. Uh, nice to see you all. My name is Jeremy Carter. I'm from the University of Manchester. I'm here to introduce you to, hopefully get you interested in, uh, the GMGI Explorer. I've uh, been developed at the university with the support and input of Ignition Partners. And I'd particularly like to thank my colleague Vasilis Vlasteris, who's spent a lot, a lot of time and effort on this, on this resource. So we understand the need to uh, generate investment in to conserve, enhance, and potentially expand uh, GI and GM, uh, and also to develop resources to support that endeavor. Um, professionals working in the urban GI space uh, can't easily access GI data, and in some cases that GI data has certain weaknesses. And this, put breaks, this puts breaks on the, the process of moving towards a, a greener Greater Manchester. So the GM GI Explorer has been uh, developed to address these issues, uh, by providing a map-based uh, software system that enables users to easily access and analyze GI data without the need for uh, GIS skills and capacity. So this new resource can help us to target GI investment into areas of particular need. Okay, so um, there's been two key innovations really as, as underpinning this piece of work. Uh, and the first is uh, a new Great, uh, Greater Manchester Green Infrastructure Baseline. Uh, and then the second is a new way of getting the green infrastructure data to the end user. So the GI baseline here uh, provides the best current understanding of GI in Greater Manchester. It builds on, in, in some cases, enhances existing uh, data offered by the likes of Ordnance Survey and City of Trees. And the, some of the headline findings are here on this diagram. So one of the key issues is that the, the baseline is two-dimensional. It includes both surface cover and canopy cover. So on, on surface cover, there's 149 different surface forms included, uh, ranging across different types of GI, uh, and also other, other land cover forms, for example, buildings and uh, transport infrastructure. And it also provides details on land cover functions. So as the GI uh, baseline draws on ordnance survey data, um, and it enables users to access and analyze that data. Uh, users of the GI Explorer need to have an Ordnance Survey license. Uh, that includes uh, public sector organizations such as local authorities, GMCA and the Environment Agency, and also uh, organizations who are able to develop a license, a subcontractor license to, to work with those license holders can access the, uh, this resource. So the, uh, the other key innovation behind this piece of work is um, really an approach to, of forgetting that GI baseline data to the user at uh, an intuitive and recognizable spatial scale. And so what we've called the aggregation layer has been created for this purpose within Ignition. Uh, and around 70,000 neighborhood scale polygons have been developed across Greater Manchester uh, for this purpose. And a portion of this is showed in the image on the left uh, for an area around o Oxford Road in central Manchester. And the blue lines uh, show the, the polygons. And the picture here shows uh, the, the polygon which is highlighted in light blue at the street level, which is in Oxford Road around the University of Manchester. And this actually highlights the importance of that two-dimensional green infrastructure baseline. So the, the tree that you'll see in the foreground there over hard surface wouldn't be counted as, as part of that area's urban GI resource uh, from, from only a surface cover related baseline, but we know that that tree is providing climate change adaptation functions and should really be included as part of that, that GI resource. So the next thing that the GI Explorer can help us to do is to analyze this data that, that's contained within it. So and these, these images show that at the neighborhood scale. And the image on the left shows that polygon that was highlighted in light blue on the previous slide. And it shows the different surface cover forms that are contained within it. And also the, the bar chart quantifies that data. And this is the type of data that you'll be able to access through the GI Explorer. Um, and it shows, for example, that nearly 40% of the paths in that space have got canopy cover. And this is in pro in providing important climate change adaptation functions, for example, shading and rainwater capture. So as well as gaining uh, data on the individual polygon scale, a user could uh, select a number of polygons, for example, related to a, a park, and gain GI data on that, uh, that space. Okay, so 
building on, on that example, the key functions of the GI baseline are gaining GI baseline data at multiple scales from the neighborhood polygon that we've shown there through wards right up to the Greater Manchester scale. And the image there shows uh, two different wards in Greater Manchester, and it shows the uh, green space percentages for those different polygons uh, within those particular wards. And so importantly, the GI uh, Explorer also enables the analysis and presentation of that GI data, for example, through tables, uh, visualizations, and also the ability to compare uh, GI data for a selected space to other areas across Greater Manchester. Okay, so our key aim is really for the GI Explorer to be used in practice. And so one of the things we've been working on is um, some use cases that can help to inform how it could potentially be used. So examples include understanding uh, GI in user-defined uh, spaces, for example, a, a selected park. Also, the GI Explorer has got a, a role to play in gathering baseline data evidence for GI-related planning and strategy development. And a key application really is the uh, ability to identify and, and, and help to prioritize locations for uh, GI investment and intervention. And so tangible examples include, for example, for informing where developer contributions uh, could be allocated to support uh, pipelines of public realm uh, in infrastructure improvement projects. And also the GI Explorer includes uh, specific data that could help uh, look at potential greening of car parks and also data to support lake, uh, local nature recovery strategy uh, development and implementation. And finally, it can form a GI funding application, and we're looking at the example of the uh, Emerging GM Environment Fund in, in relation to that. So in summary, the uh, GI Explorer, uh, it's a portal to the best available GI data for Greater Manchester, enables easy access to an analysis of that GI data without the need for GIS, uh, skills and capacity. And we hope in doing so really that this is part of the legacy of the Ignition Project uh, that will help um, move towards a greener Greater Manchester through taking sort of strategic and evidence-based approaches to GI investment and intervention. So details on how to access the GI Explorer will be available on the Ignition webpage over the coming weeks. And so, well, you've heard from me uh, about the GI Explorer and how it, how it can help uh, prioritize locations for intervention and you've heard from Matt and Rachel about uh, potential business models through, through uh, GI investment and so that's really uh, the end of that package and I'll hand back to Sarah. <laughs>